Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel, The Artificial Trainer here, back with another video. We're gonna go through Juan Fun 1.1. So I'm not gonna go through the regular Juan Fun functionality that came out a while back. It's exactly the same, just replace the models. But this release did also allow us to do reference to video with control so that's the part that i was excited about with one fun 1.1 so that's the part i'm gonna make a video about so if you like this type of content hit that subscribe button really helps me to get more content out to all of you um so if you haven't heard i've released this new tool it's in beta right now called artificial studio so this is what i'm gonna use today if you just want the model links and workflows, then you can head to the my Patreon links in the description below and just download the models from these .sh files. They have links in them that will bring you to the models. And then if you wanna do ref to video, you need the wrapper version of the workflow. If you just wanna do, you know, uh, pose your first frame, and then generate the video from the first frame, then you can use native, which I also have a workflow flow for here. And then we're gonna use Hydream as well to do some restyles, restylizing. So um, that'll be pretty cool too. So all of that is available for free on my Patreon. If you want a one-click solution where you just download everything and it works, head over to Artificial Studio. I'll be happy to give you access to the beta if you ask in the comments or on my Patreon or on Discord. Okay, so what I would recommend downloading for these workflows is the control nets and then both Wanfun 1.1, 1.3b and 14b. This will download both the native and wrapper files that you need to use Wanfun. All right, so I already had all the models needed downloaded, so that's why it completed instantly for me. So now that we have them downloaded, let's head over and click on Comfy UI. All right, and then like I said, if you are just interested in the Nate in the um like the first frame image generation where you change the first frame and then it generates image from there. You can just use the native version of Wanfun. Um, the workflow is already all there set up for you. But as I mentioned, that's the same as in Wanfun 1.0. I linked that video in the description, so you can go check that out if that's the way you want to do it. Just swap the model types, right? In, in the models over here, all you need to do is swap the model here for the 1.1 the version 1.1 model all right so let's get into the reference to image so how this workflow works is it takes the first frame and it, it uses a control net to generate an image all right so the way this workflow works is it takes the first frame from the uploaded video, it passes it through a flux control net. There's actually a really new, or a really great new flux control net that was released, Flux Union Pro. That's definitely the best that we've seen so far. And then it generates a control video. So there's a bunch of different options for you here. I'm gonna use DW Pose. And then we get down into the WAN sample, or the video inferencing part for WAN. So, the really the only new thing is this one video encode piece here. Okay, and then we head to the one inferencing. So we need to make sure all of our models are in the correct places, especially if you're not using Artificial Studio. So make sure that your clip's in the right spot, you have the right VAE. Remember the wrapper VAE and the native VAE are different. The fun control model for reference to video, it only works with the fun, with version one, one, one point it only works with version 1.1, so make sure that's the version you have selected. And then down here is a little bit different. So instead of having an image to video encoder, 
So down here is a little bit different. Instead of having an image to video encoder, we're just encoding latents basically. So we have our control video here, and then we have our control net image down here. And we pass those up into an empty embeds with the control embeds. Make sure everything's the right size and matches up. And then we pass that into the sampler. So there's 1.3B and 14B versions here. Feel free to try them both out. The 1.3B is obviously much faster. All right, so let's give let's let's give one a shot here. All right, so I have this video of these two men boxing. I'm going to change the prompt to two animated characters boxing each other. We don't have to load a first frame in. We're just going to use the first frame from the video and make sure you change the height and width to match the aspect ratio of your video. All right, so it generated our open pose. And actually, I'm going to make an adjustment here because I'm not getting as much movement as I'd like. I'm just going to skip every third. I'm going to skip to every third frame. So here's our first image. It's animated now. So there's our output. Obviously, a lot of motion and a lot of jumping around. And I only used open pose, so we don't get great results here. But let's try another video out and we'll see if we can get something better. A lot of the art of this comes from like picking a good video for that model. So um, that can be a frustrating part to figure out when we're first getting started. All right, so I'm going to say an animated woman dancing or so let's say a sketched woman dancing. All right. So there's our sketched woman. And then this is what it's going to use to generate the video. All right. So maybe the model doesn't love sketched like the sketched look. I mean, it tries to make it kind of 3D. Maybe it's the the dancing pose that it doesn't understand how to do that sketched, but does follow the reference image. And yeah, so now I want to try putting in a video that does not look at all like the first frame and see how that goes. All right, so I'm going to load an image. I'm just going to take this random blonde woman add a pad and then we have our target width and our target height here and then we're going to pass that into the encode node and then so what we're hoping is that we end up with this woman dancing in the output video all right so kind of an interesting generation this is a similar problem that vase had when we were trying to use non-posed images as the first reference video like you can tell that it is the reference person, but the quality is horrible and like the shapes can't match up. So that's why it's better to try to use that control net to pose the first frame first and then use that and pass that through. So that is it for this video. Juan, one, Juan Fun 1.1. If you want to give Artificial Studio a try, Send, get in contact with me through Discord, Patreon, and the YouTube comments, and I'll give you access to the beta. Hit the subscribe button, follow me on my other socials. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.